Hey all, welcome to Shatrek. This is Raj here. Uh, today I have many topics to talk about. Uh, as I mentioned before in my earlier video, um, this is the second video for the day. We're going to keep it uh, simple. Each uh, small video is for a topic. I think it's less than five minutes per video so that it's easy to see. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about editors and their latest results. I will also take this opportunity to talk about their various uh, therapies that I think are uh, catalysts. Of course, when I talk about various therapies, the usual suspect is Edit301, and you know that already. But before we proceed, uh, please hit the subscribe button as we are very close to 5,000 subs. With your help, we can get there. And if you're already subscribed, please hit the notify button. With that said, let's get started. <music> Welcome back, friends. Editas Medicine gained 5.3% uh, around 3 p.m. on uh, 2nd August on the back of its uh, earnings, where they reported an EPS of around uh, 56 cents against an estimate of negative uh, 76 cents. So negative 56 cents against negative 76 cents is really good. However, on the revenue side, they came in at 30% below expectation at uh, 2.88 million against an estimate of 4.172 million. So that was a bit of a downer. Uh, but friends, as I mentioned in my uh, earlier uh, earnings report uh, coverage, even uh, three or four months ago when we were looking at Q1 and uh, uh, Q1 of this year and uh, Q4 of the previous year, I mentioned that for companies like uh, Editas, CRISPR and all, earnings estimate is very, very difficult given that they do not have uh, a monetized um, a therapy and a stream of revenue that is predictable. So I would not focus much on the revenue miss uh, aspect, but I would focus on the uh, earnings uh, gain uh, because that shows that they have tightened their performance, they have tightened their operations, and they're extending their cash runway. So that's going to be the theme for editors. Instead, for these companies, uh, we need to look at cash burn and cash runway. So that's that's what I'm going to do today. As per their report, cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities as of June 30, 2023, were at 480 uh, million as compared to 401.8 million as of March 31, 2023. The company expects uh, existing cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities to fund operating expenses and capital expenditure into the third quarter of 2025. So their cash runway has now extended up to third quarter of 2025. The key points to note in this earnings report are that they have controlled uh, their uh, collaboration and R&D expenses and reduced it by uh, 3.5 million dollars in this quarter and bought it down to bought it down by 2.9 million as compared to the previous quarter as a result this led to 29.8 million in r&d expenses down from 43.7 million for the same period in 2022 so that's a positive development typically i wouldn't say reduction in r&d expenses to be a positive but you would recollect that earlier this year, uh, I think in January, they announced that they are scrapping IPSC and INK cell programs. I suspect that has resulted in these savings. And uh, all the money that has been spent is now focused on Edit 301. Here is a rundown of what the company has to say about their ongoing therapy, that is Edit 301, which is their sole focus at this point of time. Edit 301 for sickle cell disease, or SCD, is one part. Edit 301 for TDT or uh, beta thalassemia is the second uh, part. So for the first part for sickle cell disease, Editas Medicine remains on track to dose 20 SCD patients in the RUBY trial by the year end. That is by the end of this year, in another uh, five months, I would say. And the company remains on track to provide an additional RUBY uh, clinical update by year end. Uh, in June, uh, Editas Medicine uh, pre presented uh, positive initial clinical safety and efficacy data from the RUBY trial and an oral presentation at the European Hematology Association uh, Hybrid Congress in Frankfurt. And uh, in a company-sponsored webinar, Edit 301 for uh, TDT was uh, disclosed. Uh, and uh, Editas Medicine has uh, uh, commenced parallel uh, dosing in uh, Edit Hall um, trial for TDT. And the company remains on track to provide an additional uh, edit hall uh, clinical update by year end 
Uh, and in June, Editas Medicine presented positive initial uh, clinical safety and effic efficacy data from first um, uh, patient treated in the Edit Hall trial in a company-sponsored webinar. So it's all progressive um, uh, disclosure of information and um, uh, incremental uh, information that is coming to us by the year end. So those are all likely to prove to be uh, additional catalysts for Editas. Editas has not been able to crack the resistance at 9.65 and again failed today to do so. It was pushed down from 9.65 after getting close to 5.9% at the time of recording of this video. Momentum remains strong and MACD is bullish as we can expect another attempt to breach this resistance and to convert it into a support. The strong showing in the cost control department by editors and also the singular focus on edit 301 will be rewarded by the market in my opinion. And that is why I think we'll breach the resistance at 9.65% and make it a support probably before the end of this week. And now I have my question to you. Again, this is the new feature for our videos. Please use yes or no uh, in the comment section to answer my question. Do you think editors will go about 9.65 this week? That's all for now, my friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.